In this video, I want to introduce to you and react for the first time SciSpace's new PDF to video feature. So it's a feature that's meant to take a PDF and a research article and convert it into kind of a video abstract, which is helpful if you're trying to get it out there, share it on social media, things like that. And I'll leave a link in the description below and some discount codes if you're interested in the upgraded plans. At SciSpace, if you come into their sidebar, you can go to PDF to video. And if you click on that, it's going to take you to this new site of research PDF to video. And then I'm gonna click upload and it says it's free. So once you log in, you can click upload your PDF and it says it's free. And then I'm going to go and find my document. I'm gonna have it do this document. And this document specifically just a communication. So it's a shorter research article that was written and published. So I'm coming to this page. So I'm gonna try and re-upload the file. Okay, so it seemed like the first time it did it, it didn't really upload, but then if I clicked the upload PDF, it worked fine. So now it's both generating a video and generating slides. And I'm really interested in these slides. I think the slides are gonna be a bit more helpful than the video. The video is probably gonna be good for like sharing on social media, but the slides could be helpful for at least a starting point to actually like doing a research presentation on a given paper. So the slides are now done. I'm gonna open this. Okay, so you can see there's a watermark down here. I'm assuming if you go to a paid plan, you can probably remove the watermark. I don't know if there is a way to download it. That might also be only available. I'm currently in a free account to show you guys what's available. So you have the ability to edit and to write speaker notes. So it has the name and it has basically a one sentence summary here. The table of contents, I would honestly remove this from almost any presentation you give. Remove this slide as well. The introduction, glucuronidation enhances. Yeah, that's accurate. That's accurate. That's accurate. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. I would probably shorten these into single bullet points and then add an image here. And then we start getting these figures. So we have a few different figures in here and some more, okay. So this isn't horrible. I think, especially for extracting the figures, getting it in and stuff like that, this is actually a really good starting point. I would definitely work on editing this and it has like speaker notes over here, which like a paragraph of speaker notes is like scary, but I think it's just pulling in what it used to generate this. Again, like this would get deleted out if I was presenting this. I might include this, but honestly, my methods, I tend to always have a flow chart for them. And if you're interested in watching me like create how I would actually create this from scratch, leave me a comment below and I can create a video like that for you guys. Um, results and discussion. So again, all of this would get removed out. I would only have my figures for my results and discussion. And then, yeah, I would remove that as well. And that would just be talking points. This is pretty good. I like the conclusions here. I like to have a little figure there or something. And then I would have an acknowledgement slide instead of thank you for your time or attention. So again, this would be a good starting point. I would remove a lot out of this. And if I go into edit, does it let you do that? So can I just like delete? Nope. So it seems like, so I can edit within here, but I can't actually like delete out the slides. I don't see any way to actually delete a slide. Yeah. So yeah, that's interesting. Not the most helpful there. So let me come back in here. So yeah, the kind of sad point here is there's no way to really get out of or to get this out of here. So I'm going to open this in a new tab real quick. I want to see if you can download. So on the page, it doesn't have anything about the PDF to video ability to download this stuff. So I don't know if you can even do it with a paid plan. That is definitely a feature that I would want added in because I would want to work with this in PowerPoint or work with this in a way that I can better use it and actually present it. Um, it's nice that you can share it out, but again, I would prefer to actually be able to work with this and use it moving forward. Totally understand if that they leave that within a paid plan, that's fine. I just want access to be able to do it. If I come back in here, it says I can play my video. So I'm going to go ahead and play this. Welcome to our presentation on the fascinating world of hormone processing, specifically focusing on estradiol. Our research introduces an innovative method 
or effectively separating two distinct forms of estradiol, which can have different effects in the body. This breakthrough could enhance our understanding and treatment of hormone-related health issues, and we believe it will captivate your interest as well. In our study, we explore how minor hormonal changes can significantly impact health. We present a faster and more cost-effective technique to differentiate between two forms of estradiol. Up to this point in the video, this almost feels like an ad to me. It's a little over the top and not completely like, I don't know, it's, it's just a little over the top for it. It's mispronouncing estradiol, but I'm going to let that one go. I would rather them have trained their AI if they're going to do AI videos. But rather than have trained their AI to know how to pronounce science words, especially with the software that they are, something like Audemic or other ones that are trained in science, I would say using one of their audio models might have been a little bit better. But let's keep listening. This advancement holds the potential to greatly improve monitoring and treatment strategies for conditions associated with hormonal imbalances. We are thrilled to share our findings on the complexities of hormone processing. Our research unveils a novel technique for analyzing two forms of estradiol, highlighting their unique roles in the body. This could lead to more precise medical approaches for treating hormone-related diseases, making it an exciting development in the field. Our analysis reveals the ionization and fragmentation patterns of estradiol glucuronides, providing valuable insights into the yeah, it's not how you say these words. their behavior. By examining the ionization efficiency and mass spectra, we can better understand the metabolic pathways and biological roles of these compounds, which is essential for advancing analytical methods in biochemical research. This research emphasizes the significance of glucose. So this is very, like, I feel like this would be better set to like a non-scientific population. And maybe that's what they're going for here. It doesn't seem like this is really specific to like sharing with other scientists. They're not really talking a lot about what we did. They're talking a lot about the impact it could have. But I mean, like... Okay, let me take a step back because I think I'm being a little nitpicky here. The fact that you took my PDF and actually made it into a decent video that actually says right stuff. Yeah, that's that's a pretty great accomplishment. I'm just like always seeing the places for improvement. Like I wouldn't post this to my social media specifically, but then again, if you're trying to just get it out there, it might not be a bad idea. At two distinct sites on Australia, resulting in two regiosomers that influence biological activity. We okay, so this is both messing up in the voiceover and in the captions, um, which is surprising because the captions should be right because the captions came from the PDF. So that that's a place to be looked at. Demonstrate the effectiveness of traveling wave ion mobility spectrometry in separating these isomers and utilize tandem mass spectrometry for quantitative analysis. By comparing the intensity of glucuronic acid loss, we can accurately determine the composition of estradiol glucuronide isomers in a mixture. For more details regarding this paper, we encourage you to refer to SciSpace. So that in there, for more details, we encourage you to refer to SciSpace. I, I don't particularly love that because my paper isn't on SciSpace. So again, this is a marketing strategy for them to get more people to come to SciSpace. They are giving a helpful tool though. So there's some pluses and minuses there. It does seem like, yeah, it does give you the ability to download the MP4. So from that MP4, you could change some of these things. You could remove this part out and just end it there and stuff like that. So I'm gonna come back here cause you can download the video. I wanna make sure I didn't miss downloading the slides. Yeah, there's no way to download the slides here. You can link to them, but you can't download them. So that's the main things that, honestly, this is really cool with where we've gotten to with AI, with the ability to do this, to take articles that you have and get them in more digestible ways. That's super cool and 
SciSpace has way more stuff. So if you're interested, like you can see all of their different things over here. They have a lot of different tools relevant for scientists and researchers. This is just one piece that I think while super interesting is maybe not quite fully there for your everyday scientist to really want to use it. The ability to download the slides so that it's at least a starting point is really great. And then for the video, while it's super cool, I think most scientists probably wouldn't publish it to their social medias. They would just stick with text-based and then publishing the link to the article. So, if you're interested in SciSpace, again, I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you're interested in writing your research article, you're having issues with it, you wanna to get to this point where you can create these slides using SciSpace, I will include my scientific research paper checklist down in the description below. It's basically a checklist that walks you through how to actually write your scientific research article. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.